Hi folks, we are back with our team regionals uh, semi-finals and uh, in one of the pairings there is only one game remaining House Hanover is already through as you can see but uh, even though they won two of the well, both of the first two games uh, they still need to play the third one and we have Leonard uh, playing against Alex so two of the very best players in the world so uh, Bit of a shame that this is not the deciding game, but uh, should still be pretty fun. And we can have a look at the decks. So this is uh, what uh, Leonard is going to play. We saw one uh, in the previous round, I think, one of his games. And uh, yes, so uh, House with the Red Door, and that would be Bowers of Casterly Rock. So Shadow's deck, as you can see, the entire... Um, package uh, of shadows that Lannister has available with uh, the two King's Guards here and uh, Cersei and Tyrion in the deck but also some uh, non uh, shadow stuff well mainly it's uh, just uh, Tywin and, and the three copies of the Hound and one or two others then we have some uh, cancels uh, in the location set some uh, um, economy of course and uh, pinch of powder and the two events that Lanny Shadows always play so no surprises there and I guess the only thing worth mentioning is Casterly Rock since this is not really a bestow deck in terms of uh, well Flea Bottom I guess is the one location that can take uh, gold on it in terms of characters there is nothing that I can immediately see so basically just doesn't really care about the the bestow part of uh, this cast relock ability just uh, uses it as economy to get three gold every round of course that also enables you to have the red keep before you collect income so pretty nice uh, location even if uh, the deck is not dedicated to it and then we have um, a mix of resets and uh, economy in the plot deck so plays first now and both valors and uh, two economy three economy plots plus uh, close call since there are a lot of uniques and let's see what it's up against so oh of course this is the reset control deck uh, martel knights of the hollow hill that alex plays so well and uh, Hmm, yeah, so we have uh, three last of the giants with a uh, big neutral package. Uh, Lysa and uh, the full set of Arises, there's Chuken Hagar as well. And uh, what else? Yeah, so some uniques here that Martel has, Ariane and Arya Hotach. And of course also the package of non-uniques that is, uh, can be, um, you can get it back. From the dead pile with Don Misty more than only one copy, slightly surprised. But there are a lot of events, so we have his Viper Eyes, we have all the cancel stuff, and we have um, the the stuff that deals with claim, vengeance, we have burning on the sand. I say all the cancels, so he calls it thinking uh, if this deck does not play, someone always tells. And uh, secret schemes for the draw as the restricted card. And choosing the spear is an interesting one. I think when we watched Alex, it might not have been this tournament, uh, might have been the, the champions of Astros actually, because I'm sure it, there was more than one copy of choosing the spear. It uh, really did some great work. Uh, what else? So economy and uh, one copy of the throne. We have we have Starfall and of course Dorn for the draw. You're looking to get that as early as possible. One venomous blade and the plots much more focus on draw here we have three draw plots we have the customary march and uh, morgulis and also the stranger even though most of the board can be two cost characters uh, in this particular deck and uh, the long plan so that's going to be the opening then it's usually played into a reset immediately but with stuff like the stranger uh, against shadows that doesn't have a board it will be interesting if there will be a good opportunity. Mm, yes, yeah, so the game is 
about to start. So I guess we have uh, a minute or two more. Uh, yeah, so the other pairing. Actually, not sure if, if this is even worth uh, talking about in this video, since it will probably be uploaded after the other games are already played. But uh, at the moment, so we have uh, this situation. House Hanover has beaten uh, this one, Knights of the Crockery Buffet, and the other two are old Nanjing that uh, has uh, Chinese players against the Norwegians, the Feast of the First Man of Otestad, hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, and this one also still has two games to be played. I can show you. Uh, we had uh, one game played, so Super Duck winning against Leo. Not sure if, if the players are exactly correct, because uh, I know that uh, some changes have had to uh, be made. I think uh, Chinese team uh, got some uh, Covid at the wrong time and uh, the Norwegians I think are making some changes as well so I think the other two pairings actually uh, will both be played by Magnus against uh, uh, possibly uh, Super Duck or maybe N not sure we'll uh, see tomorrow anyway so those two games I'm hoping to record as well maybe even stream but not sure if I will be able to set that up And uh, okay, waiting for Alex, I guess. Yeah, Alex, who also made the final of the Champions of Westeros, which is also going to be played, well, also going to be played, uh, I guess he is out of this tournament now, so he can concentrate on that. It's going to be played next week. So the week between Christmas and uh, New Year. And uh, his opponent will be Nico. So that will be very interesting because uh, there are some decks going around that uh, both players uh, play. Uh, and some mind games possible. So we have Alex playing this Martel deck and he also of course enjoys some Greyjoy. And the two decks play very differently. And Nico. Uh, has some variations in his usually plays Terrell, but there are some variations. We saw him playing uh, Reigns in the semi finals of the Champions of Westeros, and we've also seen him playing Crossing and White Book in recent times. All right. Okay, looks like we are ready to start. Yeah, so here comes the bowels, like we said. And that served Leonard really well in his last game, I think. Yeah, we saw his game against Hannes, didn't we? Against Drowned God. Just being able to use it in uh, multiple phases throughout the round. Especially when Tyrion is in play, he can uh, put a zero cost card like a Rose Road into Shadows. Then you get your trigger in a weird phase to get more draw. And yeah, pretty nice. Not so easy to play Lenny Kraken these days. Restricted list has returned it back to where it was uh, uh, previously. With Bowers, I think, uh, on the list along with uh, Nightflyer or something. I don't remember exactly, but it's um, it's a little difficult. To get that uh, Nightlier loop now. Let's check that so that I don't talk nonsense here. Uh, 
Yeah, Night Lion and Bower is just a straight pod. So you can do the Tyrion Nightflyer loop, but uh, you're not getting the huge draw from the location. And if you're choosing Bowers, uh, then obviously Banner Kraken is worthless. Doesn't bring anything that you couldn't get in just a Lannister, so I think you may as well play a Kingdom of Shadows in that case if you want to do that. It uh, doesn't have much of a penalty if you're not going really crazy with the Shadows package if you just keep the infection stuff like uh, Leonard has in this deck. He could play uh, that agenda and just uh, have a random, I don't know what, uh, Shadow Priestess or something in there, whatever he needs and uh, make sure that of course he has some infection presence. However, in his case he's going really all in on, on the Shadows and the Jumpers except for uh, Tywin. So there will be occasions when you want to marshal cards straight into Shadows when you have nothing in play and then of course uh, Kingdom of Shadows backfires because it costs you it, it costs you 3 instead of 2. So with this one obviously you have the limited setup but Shadows has that uh, nice everything costs you 2 to put into Shadows so you can always get uh, 2 cards on setup. And if you're lucky, a zero cost location. And you start with your draw in play. Hmm. And here comes the economy. So, interesting situation. Long plan wants to lose challenges, but uh, Light Summer Feast uh, doesn't really want to give cards away. So, we, we might see some passing here in the challenges phase. All the economy. It's only five cards left after all of that and one in shadows. So hopefully those are some good characters. And what does Alex do? So whatever gold he keeps, he keeps for the following round as well. And he brings in two characters. Yeah, gives him potentially two free challenges here, because there doesn't uh, appear to be anything that can defend this. And intrigue should be nice as well. And then I guess three gold into the next round with an economy location if you if your plan was to play the stranger or something it's decent but obviously now as I said shadows can play without a board and then that uh, stranger doesn't work out so I guess it's just going to be counting coppers then <laughs> more economy discarded from hand Surely the other four are something that Leonard can use. And no time limit on this game. <laughs> Could be a long one. Although if uh, Shadows doesn't wake up, even the, <laughs> the Knights of the Hollow Hill can gain power quickly. It's three in one round. So does Leonard have any... Oh, okay. 
Getting rid of that Morgulis skin is two characters. He's going to lose another card unless he uses the red keep. It's going to say, does he have any great draw here? Nothing at all, so the only draw is really close call if he has something in the dead pile. Alright, and he does not use the red keep. Let's just see this again. So, well, this is standing, it is standing now. So, this will always work with the red keep. And he's lost a character. We can assume probably that the card in shadows is uh, something decent. And then you can always, always, of course, go for the Lion Gate as well. Just need another card in shadows. And he will be able to sacrifice that Lion Gate for more draw if he is uh, struggling. Okay, 5 gold, but it's really a bit more because of Casterly Rock and the gold road. So what does he do? No claim, so the tendency is to just uh, keep putting stuff into shadows and then, then you can go for that first snow or whatever. But that concedes some more power if he does that. You can attack the hand a little bit with uh, Shadows, of course, with Cersei and with uh, Mandon Moore potentially, but uh, against this deck that plays two copies of Counting Coppers and Siege Preparations, I don't think uh, Alex is likely to ever be in trouble. And uh, I think he might uh, draw into Dorn as well eventually and Water Gardens to put it into play. Second Lion's Gate. Yeah, so this can be sacked. Of course, Castle Rock is not the Iron Bank, it's not uh, giving you unlimited gold. It's just a plus three potentially, but he does need to use it, right? So he uses it here. He needs to use it uh, to have gold uh, in weird phases as well with the Red Keep. That will be useful. Okay, that doesn't look like it's <laughs> doing anything this round, so 10 gold left. Well, this round uh, the gold will be returned in taxation, so I guess we could see 
that last of the giants and there is ambush as well the shadow city bastards and the dornish spies And Leonard does nothing, just uh, gives his six gold. Yeah, nothing to be done. No characters to kill. Claim is zero anyway. Intrigue claim does nothing. Power claim does nothing. And Yanopause just gets power on his faction card. Now the, the question is, does he spend that gold to defend? Okay, and he does, so now we might see that uh, Bowers start to work. And Alex is not killing the character, he's just going to discard cards. Of course, House Dane Escort is the perfect one to discard. Losing a Varys as well. I guess he's not going to be doing any work in this matchup. And okay, down to four cards, but uh, another Coppers and then and the Siege Preparation still in the deck. And I guess Darnish Spy is going to take the military icon, so that might get cancelled. No. Okay, is Mennon dying or is there a Regents Guard or something like that? Maybe Boros. There is a clever feint to put him straight back. Could have come back to try to defend it, but I guess Shadow City Bastard could uh, take his icons. Second Mender trigger, but uh, now of course Bowers has already triggered, so not uh, doing any more work in this phase. And the Dornish Spy is done as well, so happy to kill it. Yeah, Alex doesn't want to go completely down to zero cards there. Would be nicer with Dorn in play. I'm just happy to go for the challenge that Mandon cannot oppose, so getting uh, one more power and uh, not exactly the usual situation with the Knights of the Hollow Hill running away with uh, yeah, the score in the early game. Mm, and the Isle of Ravens shuffles their rows road back because of course Leonard has all the economy and drawing Rose Road is not really what he's looking for. So what now? Now the Stranger will work, Marched will work as well.
<laughs> first snow on the other hand will not really work because of the ambush Okay, neither player bothering with anything of the sort, so Leonard going for the gold and Alex going for another drop lot and the water gardens growing slightly. So if he could get Dorn into play, but I'm not sure that would please him. Alex controlling the initiative for now. And there he is, okay. So now Tyrion could start uh, putting some cards into shadows that don't really belong there. So you can do that to get repeated triggers of your strong abilities, or you can do that to manipulate bowels in, in ways that it's not really supposed to work. So there are some phases where you would normally not have gold to put uh, a card, to bring a card out of shadows, but uh, uh, he can put uh, zero cost cards into shadows and there is also the red um, the red keep uh, bowels of castle rock so if you use that and then it stands uh, for taxation for the plot phase and the draw phase you should be able to work with cards like uh, lion gate as well with the minor uh, minor costs that you would have on cards in place so you can really go crazy with the draw, I guess. And Bowers itself can uh, gain gold as well, if that's needed. Dupe always important. But somehow, I get the feeling that uh, Tyrion is not really going to stick around. There's just so much removal on the other side. And permanently winning dominance with this, basically. one copy. I would play more, I think. There was a deck going around in the past, of course, the Martel Alliance deck that played Banner of the Stag and either Banner of the Kraken or Banner of the Wolf. Especially the Banner of the Kraken version just concentrated completely on non-unique characters, virtually everything was non-unique, maybe there was a Lysa and a Varys or something like that. Uh, but it had the loop with uh, Citadel Archivists and uh, Isle of Ravens and uh, Misty Morn to take uh, all the non-uniques back from the discard pile and you could never really run out of characters. You played all the resets until uh, the opponent abs had absolutely nothing left. And the Banner Kraken provided the location control as well with the newly made Lords and Nightflyer and stuff like that. So it was really a, a slow torture that deck, but um, yeah, uh, against some very quick rush or against the time limit, maybe sometimes didn't quite work. Now what do we have here? We have. Um, Missed uh, Casterly Rock Trigger. Well, it's standing, so you can use the gold now 
in the challenges phase that you couldn't if you knelt it. The problem is there is no gold. So it's not going to hurt in, in the short term, of course, but in the long run. Basically, Leonard is now missing three gold that he would have uh, enjoyed in the rounds where he doesn't play economy plots. And he still has to play, let's see. He still has to play first snow, that's the one that will uh, hurt, I guess, and to Harris also. <laughs> Vengeance on the Intrigue Challenge. And now does uh, Lennar try to focus on the Power Challenge now? Win one on attack and then defend it. Could be his eye per vice as well, his uh, wiper eyes in uh, in hand. There could also be pinch in shadows, but uh, <laughs> the targets for that are really unfortunate. Okay, bringing in the Hound before his uh, Viper Eyes can take him, I guess. Hmm. And there was just a useless copy here. Tyrion draws for an insight and maybe is now the time to trigger one of those uh, I was going to say one of those line gates, but now that uh, Boros is out, it won't work anymore. Needs two cards in shadows. Ah, there we go, the Tyrion trigger. Boros dupes himself, and at the end of the phase, the dupe will be discarded, so may as well take, uh, take it for intrigue claim if there is any. For uh, military claim, sorry. And Bowers goes for the draw. So what was the card that Tyrion put into shadows? Sir Mandon Moore. With Shadow Tree, right? So currently no gold to bring him back out. Also against Shadow X, but that's not going to help, so he has a Shadow 4 as well, right? Okay, so that's the Boros dupe. And now can he do anything with that 3 gold if uh, Shadow City Bastard is tries to take the icon of the Hound to win? the power challenge red keep still available though and that's a nice hit plenty of gold to play him out 
on the other hand how to keep him in play so we have one Morgulis gone we have another Morgulis, another Doheris uh, a first snow and a stranger and a march to the wall still to be played And now the Redkeep has to cancel Venomous Blade, which means Shadow City Bastard can potentially take the icons, but Alex is out of gold. So I guess the Hound is winning dominance. Could still trigger the, the Bastard though. Oh, the Iron Throne wins dominance. Sorry. And now, if we have the stranger that kills off Boros and these two, Misty Morn was just shuffled back. But uh, no guarantee to draw it again. And uh, what would be chosen, I guess, Tyrion would be chosen to get rid of the dupe. Or the Hound, either way. Wouldn't be a bad plot. Okay, Leonard wins it, which means he can uh, rearrange the board a little bit. So he can get rid of Boros. Let's see what he does. So this is not an easy uh, sequence to get right. And uh, okay, he chooses immediately. So Boros will not die, he goes to the bottom and uh, cost 2 has to be chosen and on the other side we either choose Tyrion to get rid of the dupe or we choose the character that actually will die here. Choose the hound, okay. So Tyrion remains protected. Man against an empty board. Unfortunate. But at least Powers draws. And here is where uh, three extra gold would have been useful, of course. And this time he does trigger it.
That makes it more difficult to control the power challenge. There is only one red keep. You can't cancel everything. And seven gold, so bound to have some ambush. I think there was a Dornish spy, right? That was taken back with uh, on a Misty Morn, so at least that is one card that we do know is in hand. And yeah, good chance that there is something else as well. Yeah, the Hound dead, Tyrion lost his icon. And this is uh, a Lion Gate. The other one is a mystery. Two cards in hand, so can he find a power icon? Icons from Tyrion, not taking the military icon here. Do we have a cancel for that? Ah, right. Bowers uh, gets go just in time. In case there was a... Uh, he calls it thinking. Alright, so important not lo to lose uh, the power challenge on defense. So that's uh, part of the job done here for Leonard. And now doesn't look like there is anything else that can be pushed through. Yeah, Mandon can defend and uh, it's not enough for Alex to win dominance against that Robert Strong. He would need to kneel one of the other two characters as well. I think Leonard is getting water to drink, presumably. Alright, Venomous Blade just to push it through. Can't uh, use the ability. Uh, Pinch is not, uh, it's not a good card in this matchup. Don't want to be returning those Dornish Spies back. And there is nothing at all that sticks around on the board in Alex's deck.
And actually, the draw game here, you can see cards left in deck. It's not uh, super reliable, of course, because uh, first of all, Alex doesn't have a setup, and then we have uh, Isle of Ravens and the Harris and stuff being used, but uh, currently Leonard has seen more of his deck. But uh, Alex has drawn, I guess, a few cards more because uh, because of his agenda. Uh, and that means that he uh, starts a few cards behind, so... Uh, not doing too badly, I was going to say, with the draw game. We have those line gates now, we have uh, some insight, there was uh, and the Bowers triggers, so... But always playing with a nearly empty hand, here is uh, Leonard. So getting the Hound back into the discard pile, we know that he plays three copies of Lee Bottom. And now finally, when there is something in play, more ghoulies can be played. And I guess Mandon has done his job. I've seen two copies so far. Robert Strong, I guess, uh, three copies of him, I think, in the deck. He will be missed. Well, but this round, I guess Alex is slightly on the back foot. Let's see how how much gold he has here. Obviously, one of the non-characters will be virtually free. So if that's Dorn, that's uh, yeah, another hit here. If Leonard tries to come back with the power challenges, that will be drawing cards. So. That's pretty decent, but with uh, five gold and one reducer location, I guess he's not really competing in the challenges game this round. On the other side, do we have a character in hand? First snow still hasn't been played. And the other was, was it Pentoshi? So if there is Tywin, wouldn't be a bad time to get him into play. Mm. Cancel for character abilities. And uh, yeah, goes back into shadows for repeatable triggers. So that would have been useful previously when those uh, Darnish Spies kept coming in. Yeah, this is taking the power icon again, right? Red keep cancels, and now Tyrion will have to be removed uh, by other means. So if there is a Hotoch in hand, he won't work because the guild hall will get him.
Yeah. So the first action here, gold road is one gold. Also the first action was Starfall, then Gold Road and then we are back to Alex. So he has no characters which means if he passes this action window he will just have to pass challenges as well. And that's exactly what happens. Hmm, this is a surprise. He's doing the Intrigue Challenge, not the Power one. <laughs> okay, Robert was dead anyway. Yeah, so there are dangers on the Power Challenge. You can get your uh, Viper Eyes, you can get Dorn Triggers, of course, you're giving away. However, that's the way to win the game. So, what are the other options? I think the only ambush is the Hound and for the card in Shadows could be uh, several cards that have the power icon and Cersei is one of them Hits Nameria, not bad And there goes Langet again, so that's going to be another power trigger probably in dominance. And goes for two gold. So he has uh, something else. Ah, has the hound as well. Okay, that puts land the head. He has spent everything he had basically. One card in hand, one in shadows, but uh, he can refill. Those line gates can be triggered eventually and uh, we should get another bowels trigger here to draw a card. Hmm. What can this do? This could bring Flea Bottom into play, couldn't it? That's exactly what it does. So no no huge need to bestow it because there is a Castle Rock, there's the Bowers trigger. So the hound is in play. Podrick is an option. Boros is still alive as well. And he does trigger if he comes in with flea bottom. And Penny. And I think you can manipulate Oh, so that was a uh, crucial play there to get rid of that guild hall because uh, Varys was the plan. I was just saying uh, earlier that okay, maybe Varys won't do much, but uh, now Leonard has started to play on the board with his two big characters, and um, here comes that Varys, and no way to cancel. So I was going to say, uh, with Tyrion in play, you could uh, 
you could get a, a flea bottom card into play and then uh, into shadows, right? So that it wouldn't be, uh, it wouldn't go back into your uh, deck at the end of the phase. But yeah, Tyrion gone. Yeah, what was it used on? Was it used on uh, Starfall? Yeah. Yeah, I guess he could have he, he could have brought all his uh, characters into play, and then uh, he would have three power icons. You can let uh, Starfall take one, and you do the power challenge, but. Yeah, the score wouldn't be eight six then. Okay. Well, even after that setback for snow, that means neither player will have much, if anything at all. Flea bottom will trigger. We'll be up against all the mortal tricks that take icons and stuff like that again. And uh, <laughs> yeah, siege preparations will draw up to nine, but. Uh, First, need to get rid of a lot of these cards. Well, rid of you need to get them into play, but uh, uh, the small characters won't survive first now. So, what do you do? Let's see what Alex has. And what do we have in terms of plots? So, we'll have Pentoshi in the last round. The probably won't be the last round, the seventh round. Against the uh, march to the wall. Okay, Boros triggers in marshalling. So I'm guessing there is either Clever Faint or the Iron Bank will have its due or something. Doesn't find anything. Okay, fine. So what happens with Boros, of course, is he goes back to hand with first snow, and he not only has shadow, he has ambush as well. But I guess he was hoping to find something decent. Now don't forget to trigger Casterly Rock. Okay, Tywin. Let's see if he's on the board to be marched at the end. So Tywin and three gold. We have a uh, one gold road, which will mean it's going to be four. And of course, uh, Boros costs you three to ambush back in. Oh, 
Well, this uh, sounds like it was uh, a misplay, but um, there was some value in in bringing Boros out of shadows to find something if if you had uh, if you had uh, Iron Bank you have its you or something like that, and then he goes back for a second trigger with the ambush. So not that bad. Red keep goes for the cancel again because Tywin wants to do a power challenge, I think. Yeah, what do I take here? <laughs> I was going to suggest uh, military or power, so if you think he's going to survive anyway, I take uh, power off him. And if you're trying to somehow kill him, although it seems difficult with the ambush in hand and flea bottom, I take military so that he can defend himself, but uh, taking the intrigue icon. So, what do we have now in hand? We have Boros. Any more hounds around? Okay, so he comes from the discard pile, no intrigue icon, so... And there we have Boros loops himself. Does he defend? Or does he not bother? He's on 8, so... If he could do... Challenges back... Maybe an unopposed... In there somewhere in the power claim, he would be doing well. Ah, and there was an Iron Bank will have it still. All three icons available. Now we have standing water gardens that reduces anything to zero. We have Dorn in play, we have five cards in hand. So if there's any events like Vengeance, they should be played here because of the siege preparations. Okay, now let's see the sequence here. At the end of the phase, and Boros is at the end of the phase. And first player is Alex, so, okay, Alex will choose Venom's Blade. He will choose Boros to resolve first. Boros will lose the dupe, and then Venom's Blade will kill him. That's the plan, I guess. Mm-hmm. 
discarding it at random. Not uh, used to set the claim to zero, so I guess um, it's not. Uh, it's uh, one of the expendable cards here. Okay, shuffling vengeance back, there will be a Dorn trigger. I guess uh, playing burning on the sand in this challenge would have made some difference. Now does Tywin go for it? He does. Yeah, probably he's getting marched, but uh, it's uh, not really avoidable here. And if we have vengeance, could be even worse. be worse uh, because uh, there is still Boris who is uh, uh, might die anyway now so and uh, the Iron Throne doesn't really deal with these um, simultaneous uh, delayed effects very well so just manually making sure that uh, a Boros triggers first to lose the dupe before Venom's Blade resolves on him. And now Alex draws up to 9, so winning that particular game. But not the score, and uh, let's see, not sure. We waited a long time before the game started, so I think it's. Uh, we must be getting somewhere near that time limit if there was one, if there was 55, so uh, I think Leonard would win on time. But the game is not over, so March and uh, Pentoshi. Pentoshi will be appreciated here. <laughs> Cancelling the water gardens. What was that going to do? That I think that the only thing it can do is to to get secret schemes, but nine cards already in hand. Yeah, and uh, three gold from Pintoshi will be nice here. And we know we have that uh, Venomous Blade lurking around. If there's uh, on a Misty Morn, that would be very nice as well for Alex. But Leonard is close. He just needs uh, one of those rounds like he had uh, um, a few rounds ago with where he had Cersei and Tyrion and the Hound. And was able to do the power challenge. It's not far away. Doves for locations not great, although we did see a timely lay waste earlier, so it can help. And even after all of those resets and stuff, there's only three characters in the dead pile. Hmm. 
15 gold carried through. Hound in the discard pile. Okay, players get the plot, the plot spec, so I can't really do anything crazy, but I'm thinking maybe with 14 gold, a swarm of chods wouldn't be too bad. Get a good round, turn the score around a little bit. <laughs> okay, but uh, yeah, we know that he can work with the 14 gold. Surprised we haven't seen any green blood traders yet with that much gold available. I think there would be one in hand to search for another card, and then you get uh, get something into play with those uh, blood orange grows. Barely done any work so far. Ario Hotach, haven't seen him, haven't seen Ariane, haven't seen Jokan Hagar or Lysa. There's the Hound now. Uh, will we see the usual attempt to cancel, uh, to take his power icon? Slight problem, of course, if you take the power icon, then he does military and uh, goes back to hand and with 12 gold, just ambush him back with uh, his icon restored. But let's see if he gets thrown out of this challenge now. Yeah. And that guild hall is gone to cancel stuff like this. That was a big play for Alex. Close call, I guess, coming back as well, and, and it's as good as anything because uh, throws you an extra card. Ah, not letting him die that easily, so what can he bring in? A duplicate. The other option was uh, Podrick, who could have potentially defended as well, or I guess Penny. You know what, with the 8 cards in hand, it's not that great, and so much gold left over uh, not to be able to do a power challenge, just a random Shadow City Bastard or something to do unopposed power would have been uh, really nice for Alex, but 
I guess uh, that secret schemes that he tried to do that got cancelled, or uh, I should say that uh, Water Gardens got cancelled. Looks like he could have done with extra cards and maybe, yeah, we're getting counting coppers to draw more. Against basically unlimited gold. And still it's dangerous. Leonard hasn't moved down from 12, so... Still uh, very close to victory if he can do a power challenge. Dive in uh, and Tyrion answers. Oh, he's still alive. And again he's drawn two locations. Yeah, well, five new cards drawn for Alex. Clearly he didn't have a power icon the previous round. Now, how about here? Looks like we'll have something marshaled. And there she is. this round there will be a swing I think So, taking the power icon, that's been the pattern, <laughs> actually sometimes uh, some of those Dornish spies took intrigue even of Tywin earlier and uh, not uh, really targeting the power icon and Red Keep keeps cancelling it which makes sense. The problem is that uh, he is not strong enough to win on his own. I'm guessing Alex isn't letting any unopposed through here just because it's 12 power. I'm not going to risk that so. Defense now can he do a venomous blight to win on defense? He can with the water gardens. Hmm, but looks like he's going for another vengeance. And the hound stays in play. 
حطه بكده ده جس What's the mystery card? Okay, it's still going to be 12-12 because uh, the aren't round can beat 18 power, 18 gold on uh, in dominance. Problem is that now all of these cards are bound to be answers for virtually anything. So. If you have one of those 18 gold rounds again and you top deck Tyrion, Cersei and Tywin, well top deck uh, two of those anyway and then some, draw some more somehow with Bowers, it's not, um, they can still all be targeted with all of those cards, with, uh, Last of the Giants into Lysa and with Jaken Hagar and uh, Dornish Spice and Starfall. Mm, and uh, Alex going for even more cards and Leonard just going for more goalies. Well, so the situation two rounds ago was that there was no useful power icon in hand that uh, Alex could bring in in the challenges phase then he marshaled two power icons and he had uh, some draw from Dorn as well, so a few cards later there should be power icons even after these got killed and if not, I think with uh, Dominance and the other two challenges he's still pretty safe was the card that was just drawn, not that one that is in shadows from uh, the previous round. Could be maybe the Regent's Guard, I haven't seen any of those yet, although there was 18 gold available. Missing flea bottom. I said uh, 
in the previous round that Leonard doesn't make mistakes. Made some here, but uh, it's uh, yeah, the match is won and it's 2 a.m. in Europe, so I think we all have to question our uh, decision making here. By uh, well, the players have to schedule the games, obviously, but I didn't have to uh, record it this hour. And here we go. Surely now that army of chads. Close enough. Four cards in shadows, but no gold to bring anything huge out here. And now those three uh, lion gates could be triggered. <laughs> Power and then pass and win dominance. That would win the game if uh, nothing opposes. Yeah, so the game was actually quite inter interesting, to be fair, if it wasn't 2 a.m. to have more to say about it, but I'm getting quite sleepy. Yeah, so if you've made it this far, congratulations. Uh, saw some nice sequences in this game and uh, two very interesting decks. And yeah, looking forward uh, definitely to the final, where we will see this deck again. Probably played by Leonard and... Um, uh, we'll know tomorrow who the other uh, opponent, uh, who the final opponent is for Team Hanauer. Is it going to be the Chinese or the Norwegians? If you would like to find that out, you can join me tomorrow. As for today, that's it. Have a good night.